Hi, I'm Wayne Moss, the Chief Executive Officer here at the National Civil War Museum in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, and this is a see, touch, and feel anniversary moment 155 years ago today, July 18, 1863. This is an Adams shipping box from New York sent to Colonel Hademan S. Putnam of the 7th Regiment of Volunteers while he was stationed with his unit in Buford, South Carolina. And we know this unit and Colonel Putnam were stationed there between June and November of 1862. Colonel Putnam has an interesting story. He's born either in 1835 or 1836, so he's either 26 or 27 years old in 1863. He's a graduate of the 1857 class of West Point, along with some other notable members, Major Marcus Reno of Little Bighorn fame, Colonel E. Porter Alexander, an artillerist in Pickett's Charge, George C. Strong, who dies in the same battle as Putnam does at Fort Wagner, Morris Island, South Carolina, and also Robert H. Anderson, a Confederate general who later becomes the chief of police at Savannah, Georgia. Stay tuned. We're going to talk a little bit more about him. Colonel Putnam was in the U.S. regular army. When the Civil War broke out, he got a volunteer command, and in July of 1863, he will command a brigade in the evening and night assault against Battery Wagner at Morris Island, South Carolina, outside Charleston. Now, this is a pretty well-known battle, chiefly because in 1989 there was a movie produced called The Movie Glory that starred Matthew Broderick as Robert Gould Shaw and Denzel Washington. This highlights the participation of the 54th Massachusetts Volunteer Infantry Regiment in that assault, an African-American unit. There were, however, other regiments also involved in that attack, and Colonel Putnam led four of these regiments on the night of July 18th. He will mount the parapet, he will yell for his men, hold on a minute, brave men, reinforcements are following, when a Confederate rifle bullet strikes him in the head and kills him instantly. His body is stripped, his colonel's shoulder boards are taken off of his uniform, and the next morning, his old friend, Robert Anderson, now a Confederate officer, comes into the fort, and one of the men in the command actually holds up this pair of colonel's shoulder boards. And Anderson asked, where did you get those? And he said, I got them off a Yankee colonel identified as, as Colonel Hademan Putnam. Did you know him in the old army? And Anderson says he did. They go out, they find Colonel Putnam's body, and Anderson then has the body buried with a note tacked on it in the sandy beaches of Fort Wagner. Unfortunately, the sea claimed most of those bodies, including uh, Hadelman S. Putnam, and it was taken out to sea. So he does not have a marked resting place today. At least the tender thoughts of his friend saw to his proper burial. This box, a, a perfect example of a shipping box, has a great story. Colonel Putnam died for his country July 18, 1863, 155 years ago today. I hope you enjoyed this moment.